was honestly a great game last night. It was very close for m most of the game until the fourth quarter when really the Pelicans went on a run. Honestly, a great game. Final score was 118 Pelicans to 103 Suns. And with Devin Booker, it looks like the Suns are kind of struggling offensively late in the game. Brandon Ingram had 30 points, four rebounds, and five assists. Honestly, impressive game from him. I think he's really going to be key to this series. And now it's tied to 2-2 two to two without with the Pelicans winning last night. Honestly, they have a very good chance of coming back. And I think they have a very good chance of winning the next game, which is on Tuesday. Honestly, I think the Pelicans are going to win. I think McCollum's going to have a great game as well. What do you think? What's your predictions for the game? And Ingram versus the Suns in the last three games. So game two, he had 37 points. Game three, he had 34 points. And game four, he had 30 points. Honestly, impressive performance. And he's just having great games pretty much every game this series. And he's probably been the best player on the court throughout the whole series. This game has honestly been a blowout. This whole series, really. The Bulls really haven't kept it that close. The Bucks won 119 and 95 Bulls. Giannis Antetokounmpo dropped 32 points, 17 rebounds, 7 assists, and 2 blocks. Honestly, a great game coming from him. And the Bucks, it's just looking like without Chris Middleton, it still doesn't even matter. It seems like offensively, they're just so much better than the Bulls in general. And it's looking like it's going to be a gentleman's sweep on this one. That the Bucks are going to win the next game. On Wednesday, and they're probably going to win the series. And looking like the Bucks are going to be very hard to beat in the playoffs. This was a great NBA game last night. The Heat won 110 to 86. Hawks, honestly, a great overall game. Jimmy Butler had 36 points, 10 rebounds, four assists, and four steals. Honestly, a great overall game. And the Heat's defense is really the main reason why they keep winning these games. I feel like more more than anything, that's the main cause. They've been really good at shutting down Trey Young and just the rest of the Hawks in general. And this this series is looking like it's going to be over. And they really needed to prove something after they the Hawks pretty much got a game from them. What do you think? Honestly, great overall NBA game. The final score was 126. Nuggets to 121 Warriors. Steph Curry had 33 points. And Clay Thompson had 32. Great shooting performance in the Warriors in general. Honestly, I feel like the Nuggets could have played better this whole series. And this series probably would have been closer. Especially the role players. They should have helped Jokic out more. Jokic had 37 points. Eight rebounds and six assists. Honestly, impressive performance from him. And I felt overall this was a great series to watch lately. But a lot of people were saying that the refs were very bad in this game. Honestly, I agree. There's a couple calls at the end I honestly thought shouldn't have been called. And what do you think? CBS Sports. Denver Nuggets this postseason. First three games, 0-3, and 108.7, 46%, and th three-point field goal, 36%. And then game four, win by five, 126 points per game. And 56% from field goal, 48% from three. They honestly had a great game. And the first three games, they played horrible.